Welcome to the third unit of the first module of your course, A Distance Learner Guide. Uh, in this unit, we will be looking at the teaching and learning in the open and distance learning system. In the previous unit, you have examined the unique features that characterize the open and learning system of education. And by now, you should be able to define accessibility, affordability, flexibility, and write extensively on the various dimensions of openness, openness to ideas, openness in terms of content. And in this unit, we'll be introduced to the teaching and learning in the open and distance learning. Now, one of the terms we use mostly is what we call learning environment. A learning environment is characterized by an interface that allows students to register and take courses staying within that environment for the duration of their course. Now, that's why you have a portal. That's why you are in this course, because the, the, whatever you are using to access this course is a kind of learning environment. The term learning environment encompasses learning resources and technology, means of teaching, modes of learning, and connections to societal and global context as well. Now, let us look at the role of the teacher in the open and distance learning. The differences between the conventional institution and the open and distance learning institutions is not restricted to characteristics alone. It affects the role of the teacher too. In the ODL system, the teacher is no longer the dispenser of information. He is no longer the sage that comes to class and issues instructions to students. In the ODL, the role of the teacher is affected and these following are the new roles. One, he is a creator and manager of the learning environment. So the first role of the teacher is to take control of the learning environment. Now this may change, whatever it does on the learning environment may change, but the issue is that he is guiding the learning experiences of the learners. He knows when to ask questions. He knows when to weave responses. He knows when to change the thread of discussion. He knows how to maintain the harmony of discussions on the group forum. Two, he also functions as an instructor. An instructor provides instruction about the content of learning. He may need to clarify specific terms, especially when those terms are technical. He might even need to go out and provide individual support to students so that they can recognize their abilities and gain self-confidence. As an instructor, the teacher maintains in interaction with the learners throughout the course, through email and sometimes through telephone. Again, the teacher functions as a facilitator. In the open and distance learning system, we don't lecture, we only facilitate. In other words, the idea is that we need to make you, to facilitate you, to bring out what you want, uh, what you need to learn. So, the teacher assumes the role of a facilitator of interactive process among learners, trying to manage this interaction to achieve higher learning.